uh, we think to be a great doubles player, you really have to play all the elements of the doubles. You really have to be a good returner, a good volleyer, and a good server. Not necessarily great in any category, but you definitely have to be good and have no weakness or it's going to be really exposed on the doubles court. Great way to practice the return in doubles. Hitting a lot of returns in continuity. That's one thing club players don't do enough is just practice the return. They hit their ground strokes all day, but they're not as adept at returning a served ball, which is a lot tougher. It's coming faster, it's landing shorter, and it usually has some kind of spin on it. This drill right here we call RDC. You'll notice Mikey goes side to side from alley to alley. Uh, the reason we call this RDC, it stands for Romanian Davis Cup, uh, because Ion Tiriak and uh, Ilya Nastasi used to do this back in the 70s when they were probably the top team in the world. This is a great drill because it really helps your lateral movement volleys. Y your feet are always moving. It develops independence of hands and feet, which is a very crucial element, I think, in volleying. You learn to play volleys out away from you. You're always struggling to volley and hustle to volley. And if you watch Mike hit these, you see he has to play all kind of volleys, high, low, wide, and it's just a terrific way to practice. You guys are just practicing their serve right now. There's two schools of thought in doubles on serving. Some people say, well, gee, you get the first serve in and spin it in and so forth. Other people, if they say if they have a big serve, they're going to still go for it like they would in singles and maybe be happy with uh, 50, 55 percent first serves if they feel they can get a lot of aces. Others feel the court's smaller, the volley's so important, you get the first serve and it's a tremendous advantage. Most team, most club teams should have uh, signals or, or we have names for serves and uh, that, help, that definitely helps you flow better on the double score. Little tricks like, you know, just little poaches here now and then and uh, come in maybe occasionally off the return, try to get it low and then come in and put down a volley, just surprise your opponent a couple times and, um, you know, just mix up your serves. I think giving uh, the returner a different look on each serve will keep him out of rhythm and will make it a really tough match for him. Stanford was probably the most fun we've ever had in tennis and uh, coming out of, out of the juniors, I don't think we were ready for the pros and I, I recommend most juniors go to college because uh, we were definitely a little immature and uh, we, had, we had some holes in our games and we went to college and we uh, Dick Gould really helped us a lot, serving volley and it, with our doubles, and uh, it, was de it was definitely the most fun we've had playing on a team with all the, those great players like Paul Goldstein, who's such a great leader. And um, I mean, it's it's a it's a growing experience too. We we, uh, we grew as people and and as players. I play the drums and I've been, we have our own little band that we have, our family band, we call it the Brian Bros Band, and uh, I've been playing drums as long as I've been playing tennis, and we've gotten pretty good, we play uh, old time rock and roll. We go all over the place playing at these player parties at these tournaments, so uh, we try to keep it going, I bring a keyboard on the road and I practice all the time, so uh, we're getting better at music too.